And now to an eight on your side, investigation. A longtime Clearwater Fire Lieutenant is at the center of a scandal tonight for having on-duty sex with girlfriends in the firehouse. He resigned last month after 19 years of service. News Channel 8's Mark Douglas joins us now live from Clearwater. Mark? Good evening to you, Gail. According to investigative records and a video that we obtained today, the sexual shenanigans by Lieutenant Steve Cower took place right here inside Station 51. Now, he recorded his actions on a cell phone, and that video eventually landed in the hands of his chief. Two years ago, Clearwater Fire Lieutenant Steve Coward was a hometown hero when he helped save a life in a harrowing trench rescue. But his hero days are over now after what he did inside Station 51. We became aware of this matter back in August uh, via um, some mailings. An anonymous source sent the city a flash drive containing a sex video recorded by Coward in a firehouse bathroom. The 20-second clip, too graphic to broadcast, shows Coward smiling into his own cell phone as he records himself in the mirror with a naked female firehouse guest. We began an investigation immediately and trying to figure out what happened. 40 emails in that same flash drive detailed Coward's on-duty sex with another woman in the dorm, a dive truck, even the workout room. In one email, he tells her, maybe if you get the chance, I could sneak you in. In another, he tells her, don't know if I can get you in my room with the people around. And one email foreshadows the end of his firehouse shenanigans, calling the fire chief, says she knows I had sex with you at the fire station, that she has proof. I just deny it all. But when confronted with the evidence by city investigators, Coward admitted everything. When firefighters are on the job, they're supposed to be working and presenting a good image for the city and not engaging in this type of behavior. Now, his resignation cut short the city's effort to terminate him. And as far as we can tell, he's still certified as a firefighter and could work anywhere else. So I get the impression everyone wanted this to go away quietly, which, of course, now it has not. Gail? Well, no, it certainly hasn't, Mark. And any other fallout as a result of this sex tape? Well, as we understand it, the investigators with uh, Human Resources are recommending uh, surveillance cameras in this fire station and every other one in the city. And I'm sure we're going to be hearing about that in the future. I would think so, Mark. All right, thank you.